Okay. Right, now we're going to, uh, now we've found our samples of mycelium outside in the woods. Um, we're going to transfer these into petri dishes. So we're going to create an agar uh, mix which will feed the mycelium inside these little petri dishes. So we're going to have agar and we're going to add brewer's yeast. We're going to mix it up in a pan, then we're going to transfer that into a jar and sterilize it in the pressure cooker. So, we have uh, 10 grams of uh, agar in here, and we're basically going to put 2 grams of yeast, or oh, well, 3 grams of yeast, it doesn't really matter, it's going to get cooked anyhow. Um, so that's it, now we'll put that into the pan, add some water, boil it up, and then we'll put it into the, the jars. A spoon or something. So just mix it in like you would, um, so you don't want any lumps in it. You just want to make a nice smooth paste, and then, and then add the rest of the water. That's so good. Because of the heat. So we're just going to switch it on. We're going to bring it. Just we're not going to boil it. We're just going to help make everything dissolve. Mm -hmm. So we need. We don't need to use the highest. No, we need it on a relatively low heat. That'll do. So we don't want to boil the agar. What we want to do is just um, dissolve the the agar into the water mm -hmm. because it's going to go into the pressure cooker. So oh, okay. it will do its boiling inside the pressure cooker itself. So we just want to. Just heat it, dissolve everything into the, the water, and then we can transfer it into the. Just keep it on. There are just small particles of these. So we're going to switch this off before it comes to the boil. Mm -hmm. We're just going to uh, we're just going to get everything dissolved, and then we'll transfer that to a jar. We'll put it in the pressure cooker. I've um, warmed up the jar because, of course, this is going to be hot fluids going into a cold jar, and you've got a good chance of cracking the, the jar. So always warm the jar first before you um, transfer the agar into it. Mm. Okay, so this is, uh, we're not going to bring this to the boil uh, because when we put this into the pressure cooker to sterilize, for sterilization, it will come to a boil inside. So all we're wanting to do is basically dissolve any of the uh, particulates, um, the agar and the yeast that we've added. So that's now done, it's almost hot enough for, for um, coming up to the boil. So we're going to switch this off and we're going to transfer it into a nice warm jar and then we're going to send, put it outside into the uh, pressure cooker. In the ideal world you want a, a, a glass um, beaker that has a pouring funnel on that you can put into the pressure cooker. Um, if you see in your labs, uh, lab you see these uh, curved beakers that have a funnel at the top, you could do the same thing, uh, get one of those, stuff the end with um, the filter material that we've been using, the polyester, um, and then wrap that in foil before you put it into the pressure cooker. For this purpose we're just going to use a jar. It'll be a little bit messy in the next stage because we're going to pour that into the petri dishes, but we'll survive. <laughs> Yeah, we want we want it to have a hole, um, mm -hmm. or else it will mm -hmm. explode. Yeah, absolutely. When it steams off. 
Okay, so here we are outside with the pressure cooker. We're going to put a foil cap over the uh, jar just to prevent any water from dripping back down into the jar while it's in the pressure cooker. Um, the pressure cooker is already warming. It won't take us so long. Um, um, Dave just passed me one of those. Um, Matt, just pass me one of those bits. We just want to make sure that the, because it's in the uh, pressure cooker on its own, that the jar doesn't bang around. Okay. How long will you, when it's up to pressure? Once it's up to pressure, it'll do half an hour, so that's it.